So I was living in Portland, Oregon uh, in the early 80s and like a lot of young people who were seeking the light or the truth, I was reading books and I was meditating, all the spiritual books and meditating and waking up at four in the morning or five in the morning and I was doing this for some months and I'd gotten into such a, a heated kind of drive, I would I think I would wake up at 4, 4.35, I would do an hour of yoga, I would then meditate, and then you know, I was total vegetarian, and I was really going for it. And what started happening though was, I started waking up in the morning sometimes and going like, oh no, I, I have to meditate, I have to do yoga. And I didn't even want to wake up then. It, it all became so arduous, yet I kept on doing it because I was committed. And this one morning I woke up and I lived right on the edge of Washington Park in Portland. And there were these beautiful ferns that were on the side of our house and it was summertime. And I just couldn't get myself to go upstairs to this special room we had where, where I would sit and do my yoga. And I just felt like, I can't do this. I can't make myself do this again. And something drew me over to this big old window in my room, one of those big old things. It was like the house was built in the 30s or 20s, huge old window, and I pulled it open, and there was the leaf of this fern, beautiful leaf, just almost folding right into my window. And I looked out, and there on the fern was one drop of dew, and I kneeled down at the windowsill and I looked at this drop of dew and the sun, the last thing I remember is the sun was glinting off this drop of dew. And what happened is it went in there and it reflected into my eyes. And the next thing I knew, my entire body was filled with light. And I still don't know to this day if my physical body came off the ground when this happened, but that's what it felt like. I seem to remember my feet literally shooting out in back of me. What transpired from then was I was in a hyper state of, of, of what I call hyper uh, uh, psychic perception, and my body started moving into various forms that I'd seen the yogis do. Although this, I wasn't even aware of this at the time, it was just happening. And uh, this happened, and I I was just, my mind was blown out. I felt like I was, when I walked out of my room, I felt like I was a city block walking around. And uh, I had a very, very difficult time grounding that experience. Uh, and it's been 35 years since then. And to this day, I feel like I'm still trying to ground that original explosion of light that happened on that morning in Portland, Oregon.